update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Del Rey Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have a mixed bag out here. The Dow and the S&P trading higher. The Dow is up 48 points, and the S&P is up two, which is flat. The Nasdaq is off three tenths of a percent, 41 points to the downside. While the Russell's up five points, the semis are off eight. Trend is up 232. We've got a mixed bag. Gold's up five bucks. Silver, 15 pennies. Lights we crude trading out at 87.93. That's buck 22 pennies. So, what do we want to do here? You know, we're going to go take a look at the indice chart. So I'll share with you what they're signaling to you and I. And uh, give me a moment to get over there. We begin by taking a look at the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So it's signal to you and I. This has got a nice buy the D point, a road's meant to indicator bottom. Price is above that red oscillator and change line. So the red oscillator and change line tells us the price oscillator is below zero. It just suggests that a further retracement, move higher, uh, could unfold out there. Not anywhere near as strong as being above a green oscillator and change line. Although you can't see it as we speak right now from a, uh, you know, price really should continue to move higher. I look at the Dow equity future contract. Price is well above uh, the center of its bullish structure profile. And this says that price could make a run up to 36050 four. On the Dow, it's really 36.513, the TD9 count breakdown level. So that is a possibility. The S&P 500, same kind of condition, closed yesterday with a wide range of bar above that red oscillator and change line, could move higher. 47.44 would be its target. 46.25 is the top of a daily profile, so that would really be the range between the ES Mini and the S&P. NASDAQ 100, also above a red oscillator and change line, could be telling us about a target of 59.90. In order for that to happen, we need to see two consecutive close above 14.874 in the NQ. We're trading at 14.890 right now, so it's really going to be the end of today as well as tomorrow's session that would communicate that to us. You've got nice bottoms on the Russell 2000, price above its red oscillator and change line. Says price could go ahead and target 22.10, but what first needs to happen is price must close above on the Russell 2000 equity future contract 20.36. We're trading at 20.34.90 right now. 20.36 is the high from Monday. That's that's how weak the Russell 2000 is. The semis, they right now are sitting right on that red oscillator and change line. If it closes back below it, that's saying that's where a counter trend rally could end. But the other indices are saying, hey, maybe not so fast out there. Um, so, folks, do me a favor. Stay tuned. David White is up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien will take us on home from 3 to 4. And I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp for the 1 o'clock update. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.